everybody welcome back to the channel today we're gonna cook we're gonna we're gonna chop and chop we're gonna make some vegetable soup before I run out of vegetable soup season and vegetable soups become salads we'll talk a little bit about dieting I have all kinds of stuff to talk about today so let's just get into it going to hope as we get into this because it's very difficult to see far away that you stay nice and clear but I have a couple of things that I wanted to do today. I've been talking about doing a little more vlog style, so I thought we'd get into it. I love vegetable soup. I'm going to bring you around and show you everything I'm using in a second. But it's kind of what, when I'm being good on my diet, it's kind of one of the things that gets me through winter. And I haven't been being good, and that's kind of what this is about. I thought we would do a little more vlogging, a little more cooking, maybe make me a little more accountable. I have had a rough time getting back up on the horse post Christmas. I kind of let myself have a party <laughs> at Christmas time and then always afterwards I'm like get back on it do the right thing and I've been struggling this year so I thought you and I we'd come we'd talk maybe having you guys and talking to you about it I will hold myself more accountable because nobody can hold you accountable but yourself but I have lost 180 pounds I do not want to gain it back I would like to lose another 30 or 40 so Vegetable soup is one of the ways I do it. Also, my mom hasn't been feeling great lately and vegetable soup is one of the few things that sits well on her stomach. So I'm gonna make a big old batch. I do it in my Instant Pot. I'll show you how I do that. And then also, if we have the time, if this doesn't get too, too long, because clearly I'm chatty. If we have the time, I got this cool new vacuuming mopping thing. I thought we'd give it a try. Okay. Let's get into this. I'm going to bring you around and show you what I'm working on. Working with on this rainy old day is I have a couple of regular potatoes. I like the red potatoes. They are a little waxier and I think especially in the instant pot they hold up they hold a little more structure I guess is the best way of saying it. Who doesn't love a sweet potato? Sometimes I throw them in sometimes I don't. Actually everything that goes in my vegetable soup I have no recipe. I have a basic principle of what I do but it is based on what I have. Carrots, pretty much always carrots, always celery, always an onion. I have a couple of zucchinis that are on their last legs today. We're going to do that. I have some fresh garden peas. I love them. I get them at Trader Joe's. I prefer in my vegetable soup canned green beans. It is the only time in my life I think that I use canned green beans, but I prefer them for some reason in vegetable soup. Probably, let's be frank, it's probably the saltiness they bring. I use half of one of these Pommy chopped tomatoes. It is 26.46 ounces. And I've just poured the other half, I don't know if you can see down in there, I've just poured it into a mason jar because I will probably make this all again in a week or so because like I said, it's one of the things that's really helping my mom's tummy. And I add one can of the tomato sauce. I picked this one up at Kirkland. We are generally hunts people, but I have found that I really like this one. Plus it's one of the quick lids and oh my goodness are those the best or what i start by chopping and sauteing and i just throw them in my instant pot instant pot i just throw them in there as i get them chopped we do the onion the potatoes the carrots and the celery a little bit of oil in the bottom of the instant pot and i start sauteing those then i pretty much just dump everything else in give it a good stir i add water and then better than bouillon beef broth oh i don't have that here oh you know what i have it sitting right here next to me i forgot to set it over here corn who could have vegetable soup without corn this is the trader joe's i think it's called roasted frozen corn and i love the flavor this adds anyway back to the better than bouillon i prefer better than bouillon even though i buy the reduced sodium i prefer the better than bouillon to regular broth i know it's crazy but that's where i am so i'm gonna chop all this up we're gonna get it sauteing in the instant pot let's do it backing you up into next tuesday i went ahead and pointed it down at my cutting board because i figure you're here for the cooking not necessarily for my face so we're gonna go ahead get this chopped up you're gonna hear my voice you're gonna see the cooking I just use one of my regular bowls i keep it handy so that i have something to just throw my trash into i will of course fast forward through parts of this because you don't need to see every single cut that I make. But I always start with my onion. What I forgot, what I already forgot is we come over here and hit saute. Let this start warming up. And then I have this. And for every squirt, you get a quarter of a cup of oil. So this is great when you are dieting. The best part about a vegetable soup is it's a quick, rough chop. 
you throw it in here it takes six minutes in here and that's even with the potatoes i will peel this one i will not peel these by the way quick six minutes on pressure takes a few minutes to come up and a few minutes to come off but then you have vegetable soup and you have it for days just days and days of lunch so i will have more than enough to split between my mother and myself and she and my dad can munch on it for lunches and i will have it for lunches my husband we don't ever talk about this is a very picky eater so i don't have to share this with him because he is not a fan of most of the cooked veg and this is one of those soups that as you're going through it it gets so big and i always tell myself make it smaller make it smaller and i try but like i said every time it's different i do it based on what, I what i'm letting you know here is that the battery died and i forgot what we were talking about but in looking back i was saying it's different each time because it's based on what i have in the fridge what might be going bad that kind of thing let's go ahead so let's get this into the instant pot oh yeah we got a nice sizzle going now didn't think about sound You know what? I'm just going to take and do a voiceover. I bet this is loud as heck. Okay, so we're getting ready to have a voiceover. One of the reasons that I started doing vegetable soups was it was one of the things that I could eat pretty much without counting on Weight Watchers. And with Weight Watchers and counting everything, it's such a relief to just grab a meal and not have to worry about points. It was especially easy when we went through that time frame where we didn't have to count potatoes. Now that we have to count potatoes, that's all that is in this entire soup that has to be counted for points. I didn't think when I was doing all of my prep for this video, I didn't think to weigh the potatoes. So I don't know exactly how many ounces went into the soup. I would say it's probably eight to 10 points. And since this is easily, 10 servings of vegetable soup, if not more, I probably will not worry about counting that one point for my lunch. If I get to the point where I see that I'm not losing and I become really, really strict about how many exact points are going in, if it comes to that, I will go back and count things like this. I have a potato that's about to shoot across the room. But for now, I am not worrying about that one point of potato at lunch. And that thing shot right off the counter. I couldn't even believe it. Do you guys have a family favorite vegetable soup recipe? For me, it doesn't, it can change. I will try everybody's vegetable soup, but when I'm making it, I have to have carrot, celery, onion, and potatoes. I'm a potato girl. I probably also only ever make it if I have corn available. Beyond that, I've made it with mushrooms. I've used little Brussels sprouts or cabbage just all kinds of veg but beyond just using the first things that I said that I just can't live without I, I'll try anything what are things that you love in vegetable soup I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit so you guys don't have to watch me chop all day I guess I feel like I don't need to make the disclaimer you are seeing it in action I am not a chef I am simply a home cook that tries to do the best she can to cook what our family loves to eat. I have no mad chopping skills, despite the little flourish I just gave you there. I just cook the things that I've probably been cooking for a million years, and we love it. It's just the homemade that everybody loves. And especially when I'm dieting, even more than just when I'm not, I really try and cook at home. We all eat so much healthier and make so many choices that are better for us at least I, you know what i can only speak for me at least i do when i eat at home because on the days where i'm eating this vegetable soup as opposed to running out for oh i don't know chick-fil-a <laughs> i'm just eating healthier even beyond calories i'm not eating fried i'm not eating the sodium i just although soup can have a lot of sodium in it i just really prefer eating at home eating healthier and I am struggling so much. How are you guys doing this winter? I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I'm struggling. And definitely when you've been dieting, even just with this diet, and I hate the word diet, although people will say it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. Oh, trust me. I know I've had this weight off for almost 15 years. And there are times when I am better with it. And I am 100% dieting and I'm walking miles on the treadmill every day. And there are times, seasons in this lifestyle, where uh, I'm eating a candy bar and running into Starbucks for a white chocolate mocha, which has, I don't know, 400 calories or something. 
it's just the worst choices. And I know that I'm making them and I know that I'm going to start eating right again. It's just getting my heart and my mind back in the right space. And vegetable soup is one of those comfort foods that it's like with my hands doing it, my brain kind of says, oh, I get it. Okay, we're going to eat healthy again. And it's just making everything line back up so that I'll do the right thing. What I was just showing you right there that I clipped onto my Instant Pot, I didn't find that until, I don't know, it, maybe it's been a year, but I don't think so. And I've had my Instant Pot forever. You clip that to your liner, which is the metal part that you're cooking in, and to the outside edge of the pot. It's really kind of an inside edge, but you would see it. It's super easy. It stops your pot from when you're doing things like I'm doing and you're cooking and stirring constantly. It stops that inner pot from spinning around. Oh my goodness. It is a game changer. I picked it up on Amazon for like $5. I'll link it below. I'll link it below because I, if you have an Instant Pot, it is a game changer. And it's like, I want to say $5. I mean, it was very very inexpensive for the joy that it brings to my life. Zucchini. Who doesn't love zucchini? I use it. Oh, wow. I probably cook it two or three times a week. I saute it with onions. I saute it by itself. Sometimes I do it like I did there where I quarter it. See, I'm pointing to that nice clip again. So when you stir it, it doesn't, the pot doesn't move. It's fantastic. Sometimes I quarter it. Sometimes I half it. Sometimes I make it into batons. I saute it. I do it in the oven. I do it in the air fryer. I cook a lot of zucchini. You're getting the picture. We're adding the corn. I couldn't decide which was the best way to show you guys. Sometimes I'm tipping it to the front. Sometimes I'm dipping it to the side, but there are no measurements for any of this. I have those little bowls that we picked up from Ultra that I knew I would never use. Yeah, I use them a lot. I'd say they're probably about a cup, but I did the corn, the peas, the green beans. The green beans are already soft. Technically, you could wait and put those in, just stir them in once this is done cooking. But I have found with the canned green beans, they just don't get any softer than, than they already are. So cooking them again through this process and letting all of the flavors meld, there's no harm. They're already soft. They're not going to get any softer. I add the two different kinds of tomato because I like the sauce. I like what it does to the whole broth that you end up with. But I also like having tomatoes. And I have at times, if by chance I've made a vegetable soup in the summer, I have used real tomatoes in vegetable soup. That is the first four cups of water. That is what I always start with with my water. And then I adjust accordingly. You're going to see in a minute, I'm going to add two more cups to this. That is both the upside and the downside of not having a recipe is every time you do it, it's different. But every time you do it, you just kind of have to juggle your numbers and do it until it looks right or do it until it smells right. I don't know if you guys saw, I was pointing to the max line. We were getting precariously close to the max line of what you can put in an instant pot. I tried to take a picture of myself doing the better than bullion with one hand for you guys. I totally couldn't. It ended up being two tablespoons because there's three teaspoons in a tablespoon and you use a teaspoon per cup of water and I used six cups of water. I do really, really basic spices after that. There's so much flavor in there. I use very little salt because we've had all the bullion. I just added three Badia bay leaves. I've actually switched to Badia because they have had less broken leaves and that was it for spices. With all of the sauce in here, it is not sizzling anymore. Actually, if we listen, can you hear just a little bit of bubbling down in there? I leave it on saute while I'm doing all this because it helps it come up to temp so that in a minute when I set it on pressure cook, it will come up much faster because it will have been sauteing, so to speak, this whole time. That is how I end up with <laughs> this much. I think this is a six quart. I have one person in my house that eats this, but I will take at least half of it to my mom and dad's, probably three quarters of it. So we will feed basically two families for lunches for uh, till the millennia. That's basically it. Just take your lid, put it on. You'll hear the little song. Turn it over. Make sure that your sealer, I guess, is pointed straight up. Then I come down here and cancel it. And then 
hit that. Oh, whatever I cooked last time, probably rice. I did for seven minutes. Knock it back to six and it's done. In a minute, it will beep to acknowledge that I exist. It will bring it up to temp, cook it for six minutes, and then immediately start to natural pressure release. And once the little, this little silver dot, see how I can get my finger down in there? Once it comes up, that's under pressure. That will drop naturally, and then I'll know it's okay to get in here, and my soup will be done. Easy peasy. And just for the record, this is what it looks like when it's under full pressure. That little thing that's popped up and this is super hot. You couldn't turn it right now on a bet if you wanted to. It's protecting you from yourself. While our soup cooks, and by the way, it already smells really good in here. We're going to put together slash use. I got this from QVC. I think you can get it from either QVC or Amazon. I'll link it down below where I can, but it is a shark. Hold on. It's a really big, oh. My husband may or may not have lifted this in here for me. This is a bigger unboxing than I usually do. It is the Shark Hydrovac XL. And I said, no, no, take it out of the brown box. It's got to be in a prettier, sexier box in there with pictures of sharks and hydrovacs. It is not. This is the box that it is in. So we're going to take it out of here. I don't know if I have to build it. Please don't have to build it. Please don't have to build it. Or if it's just going to be, you know, pop this in that and go ahead and use it. But the theory is this vacuums and while it vacuums, it has a, a spinny thingy on the front that turns that also kind of mops. It's mostly meant, I think, for messes, but we're going to try it. We have linoleum. I should tell a whole story one day about how we live in like a 50, 60 year old house. It's the walls are closing in. It's pretty small. It is just the two of us. It is just the two of us. But just from the things that you accumulate through a lifetime, and I am by no stretch a hoarder. Mm -mm. I am, I like things to have a place. And I'm going through one of those phases where I basically want to just throw it all out and start over. That is not the point. The point is we have linoleum and I've noticed it's looking a little meh. And I'm hoping that maybe with a fancy... I don't know. It was something new to play with. We're going to check it out and see if it makes all the difference in the kitchen. Let me see if I can get it out of here. Do you guys have... <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot how heavy that was. Do you guys have something like this? Do you use... I see right now I just sweep. I used to use a vacuum in there. And then for whatever reason, over the course of the last couple of years, I picked up a broom. And I just old-fashioned sweep in there. And then I mop. I have a Norwex mop that I love. This is a picture of what we are going to have slash build. <laughs> I really hope the word build does not come into place. Do I have glasses? Yay. <laughs> the box is sitting on them. I'm sure it's fine. Right on top, I can see the beauty of this bundle with QVC was this was a today special value. So I don't, was it a today special? Yes. So I don't think you can pick it up at the price that I got anymore. So I will try and find you the best prices. But this is the cleaning stuff. And it came with two of these since it was QVC's today special. So I have two of these. I don't know how much it takes to use. It says up to seven times refills concentrated power. I will do it like it says the first time, but going forward after that, I will decide if I think it really needed that much cleaner because I have found with these machines in the past, machines like this, I've never had this one, that quite often you don't need as much cleaner as I say. It came with an extra filter. <laughs> this is what we're getting into. It's just, oh, my husband is here. Well, he's back there in his office with the door shut, but he is here on standby in case I need strong arms. We got this. Okay. This is a part. It's just a handle, though. Don't lose hope. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to stand up and do this. I'm sitting down for leverage. There's something in here. I can't tell oh, what it is. But I feel like we need it. This is going very well. Ooh. Oh, apparently, supposedly, I shouldn't say apparently, supposedly, it will sit in this and clean itself when I'm done with it. Count real heavy on And I think we might have gotten an extra roller as part of the deal, too. Everything is out of the box. We have the little tray not little that it's going to sit in I think this holds cleaner I don't know if that holds the extra filter yeah I think that's gonna hold the extra filter when we're done what's gonna hold well anyway 
and then fully wrapped up we have the machine i think they said it was eight pounds i don't like to think that i think it's 40 if this is eight pounds i am very unhappy with my strength and this is what this looks like and it already has one of the rollers installed and it has a really it has a lot of cord i have it standing in front of me we have this handle it's got a good you know i'm fully doing what i always accuse my husband of doing let's read the book the paperwork says just kidding i'm like i read all this align the pole Align the pole with the opening in the main body and insert firmly until it clicks into place. Well, they've got it covered with plastic, so let's take that off. Didn't that sound like it was going to be really easy, guys? Was that a click? It didn't sound like a click. It kind of was like a doing. Okay, well, I can't lift it out, so we're going to count that as a click. These parts are the cord wrap. Well, let's go ahead and do it. I have to tell you, my husband and I have been married for a billion years. A billion. We were high school sweethearts. And I said, no, no, I'll do it. It'll be fine. It'll, I'm going to do it like it's an unboxing. This isn't the type of thing I usually do. And you know, <laughs> I should have let him unbox it for you guys. It probably would have gone far more smoothly <laughs> with me not even being able. How is this cord tangled? I'm not taking the fault for this. Okay. <laughs> We're getting the cord wrapped now. Just have to put the pole in and wrap the cord. It'll take 20 seconds. Welcome to 11 minutes and 57 seconds of raw video. You guys won't be seeing that, but mm, just take a second. Okay. Wrapped over. Clipped in. <laughs> Time for my nap. Okay, I've decided that the spots in the back are for the extra roller and the extra filter. So you will, in theory, set this like that in the cleaner. You can't see it, but I'll show you in a second. Okay, let's go put some water and cleaner in this and see what it does. So I think this is where it's going to live, right here at the corner of my kitchen. I don't know. My husband will have something to say about that. But that's what I'm thinking right now. And see how it sits down in that tray? In theory, it somehow cleans itself. We'll see when we're done using it. Also, I just said in another video, see that little basket? Those are all just kitchen towels. I use so many kitchen towels and was spending so much time walking to the laundry room with them that I brought that. This is a really pretty basket that we got from Norley. Isn't that pretty? And I just keep here. We do these about once a week and it's so handy. And plus, it's going to be super easy. Just press this and release. Oh, I would say that was easy. Hopefully you can see on the side, it tells us to put the water to this line and then the concentrate to that line. That's gonna take a lot of concentrate. We're gonna go ahead and do what it says this time, but moving forward, we may wing it. Okay, I filled it with water to where it said, and then I did the concentrate to where it said, but just for the record, be sure and get your concentrate ready to go in here if you order one of these before you put your water in it because I had to have my husband help me because it, this isn't flat. So once you've put the water in it, you, you can't set it down and check it. Okay. I think it's ready to use. It says that there's going to be a rug mode. You can use it on like this. You can use it on a throw rug, but not on carpet, not on carpet that's got padding under it. This will tell you when the clean tank is empty or the dirty tank is full. So there's a dirty tank down here. Oh yeah, see? It has a filter and in theory, that's going to hold all the yuck that we pick up. I hope we get lots. <laughs> Well, I mean, in theory, it's my house and I've been living with it. So I hope we don't get a whole lot, but I hope we do. I'm going to try and get this on the floor so that you can see some of this because I don't think I can hold it, the camera in one hand and vacuum with exactly vacuum with the other. I think this one will involuntarily vacuum. Let's see what I can get. Oh, ooh, is that working? <gasps> Guys, I'm going to get good at this. All right, so I'm just going to lay it. I'll use my toe there. I'll lay it back and turn it on. It might get loud. I'll probably be doing a voiceover if it gets too loud. I left that sound in in the beginning so you guys would have an idea of the whirling sound that it makes. It is it's loud. It's a, well, you heard it. <laughs> you don't need me to relive it for you. But it, it wasn't too annoying. I'm just letting you know. It does indeed make a sound. I will, obviously, I am doing this to show you guys. I will, I'm going to go back 
and roll those cards. I will use the rolling type so that we can move them out of the way easy. I'm going to go back and move those. <laughs> you will see me. I got so wrapped up in putting this thing together that I didn't think about the chairs were in the way for when I do the rug. You guys will see me fight with those in a little bit. This did not get my full attention and I haven't gone back to do it yet. We're like two days later when I'm doing this voiceover, but I'm going to go back and do it again and paying far more attention. You guys will see, I just kind of gave this, this is more of a kiss and a promise. I don't have the chairs out of the way. I'm going to move them in a little bit. They're going to be in your way. It's just, it was a whole thing. And then you'll see in a little bit, I will show you the stuff that is in it through the canister that it's in but when I poured it out that video didn't take that's a whole different story but I didn't give it enough credit when I was pouring it out I was impressed with how little a space I did how much it picked up the thoughts that we had been living with it like that were horrifying to me so I don't think I gave it enough credit for its first go and we are absolutely gonna try it a few more times my husband was super impressed why is it that men always love that when you pour something out like you've done or you empty a vacuum cleaner filter or something like that my husband likes to clean the filters on our air purifiers they just love to see all of the things that the machines have picked up that we are no longer dealing with but anyway i just don't know it seems to have cleaned and dried really quickly. I have no doubt. Here's what I will recommend. If you have area rugs that you would just like to clean, but also refresh the scent of the cleaner. I, it smells in here like I just had the carpets cleaned with a really nice fancy scented thing. It looks really good. The carpet did a really good job. I'm not sure how well, I mean, I have old linoleum. I don't know what in the world I could possibly expect. It says now that it's on the tray, it knows, how would it know <laughs> to do the self-clean button? But before I do that, we have to take the dirty tray out and clean it. Can you guys see that? I am embarrassed. I am, oh my gosh. I. <laughs> okay, so maybe it worked better than I thought it was going to. And this is where I would be showing you the tape of me pouring it out if I had that. Sorry, guys. Okay. We are done with the vacuum. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna use it a couple of more times. I think my floor is definitely cleaner than when I regularly mop it, and I loved it on the area rug, but I am not working with a lot of square footage, and I just don't know if it's worth it for the amount of space that it takes up sitting over there in the corner. I'll show you again when I flip you. And when you're done, you have to clean it. And it was a lot of effort. It probably worked better than a regular mop, though decisions to be made. But now that we are done and we have cleaned up from everything, oh, there it is. See, right here in my kitchen and there, it, I don't want to look at that. You're right. I don't. But I have such small square footage that, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, a handsome lunch reward. Our vegetable soup is done. Ah, look at the steam going off that. It is just a huge pot of yummy, warm vegetable soup. Everything is nice and cooked. It was super easy. I'm sure I told the story when I put the bay leaves in here, but so we had three bay leaves to look out for. So I'm always afraid somebody's going to choke on a bay leaf. I've never known anyone that's choked on a bay leaf, <laughs> but yummy. All right. Super easy. We made a soup. We cleaned the floors. Do floors look different? They look different to you? They look the same to me. They do look pretty good though. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you taking the time to be here and I hope I see you again really soon. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. Have a great evening guys. Bye.